All right, Google Meet has several new updates and enhancements, so I just wanted to walk through um, as many as I could in this video. Uh, it's going to be a little bit quick, so um, some we might have to come back to in a little more depth later on. But when you first get log into Google Meet, um, you might notice a couple of things. Um, the first is this button here, which is your background blur. So I'm going to turn my video on just for a second. You can see my background here. You can see my spaghetti face uh, picture. Um, you can see masks, which are important. But let's say I am in an environment which I didn't really want to share that background or I don't want it to be distracting perhaps to others. Um, I can click background blur before I even get in the meet. And this is going to blur out um, the background and it does follow me around um, as the participant. So um, great for students who perhaps don't want their cameras on because of, um, you know, maybe they're embarrassed by their home environment. Um, we don't really know what's going on in that environment. It is a great option to allow them to put that background blur on. A couple other things from this screen, and you can access many of these features in more than one place. I just want to show you some that you get from the initial screen before you get in the meeting. As a host, you can add an in-house live stream. And what that means is you can allow um, people to join the live stream and watch your meet as opposed to interacting. And so this might be for students perhaps that are at home, but they're not actually going to interact. They're not going to chat. They're not going to talk. It's just more it's almost like a live recording. So that is an option here and you just would copy and share this link and that is how participants would join to just watch the live stream. The other option is casting and from casting we can actually share this meet onto other applicable devices. Those devices need to have casting set up on them but it is a great tool if for example you wanted to you were on a different device um, and you wanted to cast it to your laptop that was hooked up to your projector, perhaps. So let's hop into the meeting to actually see some of the other um, features that Google has changed. Um, if we were gonna start our stream, we would just click here and that would begin happening. One of the things you may have noticed is the host controls. The host now has some controls um, that provide a bit of a, a bit more safety and security in your meet environments. First one is quick access. If I were to turn this off, everyone who wasn't invited directly via a calendar link would have to ask to join, and that would include anybody in Watertown Mayor Schools. So why would I use this or how might I use this? Um, if I am regularly or I have an ongoing Google Meet link that my students access and I just have posted it onto Schoology and it just lives there, it's a continual link that we click on, I might turn off quick access so that students cannot join that meet until I'm actually in because I would have to accept them and let them come into the meeting itself. A um, couple other controls is the ability for others to share their screen. So if I want as the presenter to be the only one to be able to share my screen so that students aren't inadvertently or intentionally, <clears throat> excuse me, posting things that they shouldn't, I would turn that off. And the other one is chat messages. I can also turn this off if I don't want students to have the ability to send chat messages or participants, but I, as the host, am still able to send a message. So I can still send the messages out. It just means that everyone else is not able to continue a chat. And this is sometimes good if I am unable to monitor a chat, um, but at the same time, um, I just really think about why you are turning that off before you do so. So those are some of the host settings. Um, the other one is around layout. So I'm going to go to change layout here. And if we have a bunch of participants, I have different ways to view those people. The typical one that we use is tiled because we want to see everybody. Well, the new update is that I can change the number of people I see in my tiled window up to 49. So if I have 30, I don't know, 30 kids in my class, I can move this little slider to be able to see all 30 kids on my screen. And you can adjust this. It's not saved for meetings, so you do have to change that um, in each meeting. So that's how you can make sure that you can see everybody in the grid view. Um, if you have that grid view extension that we had in the past, you can actually just go ahead and delete that. Uh, you no longer need that. Uh, the next thing, really quickly to talk about 
is um, Jamboard. If you are unfamiliar with Jamboard, it is essentially like a whiteboard, uh, Google's version of a whiteboard. And one of the things you can do is some people have already been using Jamboard and you can choose a Jamboard that you've created in your drive. I've seen some really amazing things with that. But I can just start a new whiteboard right from here. And this will be shared with the people that are in this meet. Jamboard is, like I said, essentially it is a whiteboard. I have the ability to um, write on a screen. I can enter text with the text box. Um, I can upload images from Google Drive wherever I need to. Um, and the thing that I've seen a lot of is the sticky notes. So this is, let's say, a student response or we're um, labeling things, putting them in groups however we want to. So I've created my sticky note. This can be moved wherever I want to on the actual Jamboard. And there's you can use multiple pages um, for your Jamboard, but there is a way that you can use that with students. And it also will save directly to your Google Drive. So there's another additional feature. And the one feature I know everybody wants is breakout rooms, and that is coming. I have actually seen it in other districts, just not ours yet. It's a rollout that is con entirely controlled by Google. But you will see it in when you click on the people icon to show everyone. You'll see it, I think it's in the middle, and this will allow you to create breakout rooms directly from a Google Meet. Um, so you'll be able to separate kids into rooms and you'll be able to, as the host, to hop in and out of those rooms um, to check in on progress. So some new updated features um, in Google Meet. And uh, as some of these other ones come out or as breakout rooms come out, uh, we'll go into a little more depth on those.